This is the OC Lilmon 5 and it's a 5.5 inch full touchscreen 1000 nits brightness monitor. HDMI in and out ports, complete set of options and tool for professional monitoring, useful bracket for hot shoe on camera monitoring, SD slot upgradable LUT support, remote control cable, power out option and headphone monitoring. I'm your host Mauro and let's get straight to this monitor. As you know, I'm a really long time user of the OC G7 screen and this have been for the last 3 years a really great workhorse. Well, OC reached me out and asked if I could test out their new monitor and understand if this monitor will be entering in my production. Well, I said yes. And just to make the statement clear, this is a beta tester monitor and maybe some of the firmware and actual looks of the settings and actual menus could be different on the final release. That said, let's get straight on this monitor. Ok, so I got the monitor in this little great white box with the Lilmon 5 statement and with this great Camelon looking eye. Inside the box there is the monitor with the tilt arm already assembled. That's it. Let's go to the physical looks and ports. The monitor has two one quarter screw mounts, one on the side and one on the bottom. Power button on the left. Right side, headphone jack, RSS 232 remote controllable port and battery out power option. On the bottom we have the SD card slot for the dedicated personal loot loading and firmware update. On the back we have the HDMI in and out port with the max resolution of 2160p 30 frame per seconds loop out. There is a standard battery power option on the back and also there is the power port in. 6.2 volts up to 16.8 volts of battery power, so you can power it with various sources or V-mount batteries. The monitor consumption is 8 watts, so with a slightly bigger battery just like this, you could end up just using one battery the whole day of shooting. The monitor has a stated brightness of 1000 nits, and for general daylight use it's actually enough, but if you are going on a dead straight sun powered shoot up, well, Use your OCG7 screen or actually put a sunscreen on on a sunscreen protection cause yes it will be not enough in direct sunlight. But for any other scenario this is really great. The viewing angle of the Linlon 5 is pretty good and I didn't have any problems to check the footage even for a higher angle of view. Ok so let's get to the touchscreen function and to the menu layout. Firstly to the swipe functions, up and down on the left and you will be controlling the brightness up and down on the right and you'll be controlling headphone audio levels, multi-touch zoom or pan features. The monitor will allow you to have custom set of settings that I call them shortcuts, used to be placed on the lower part of the screen, so you can use them rapidly not having to need to enter deeper menu in the settings. And you can add some pretty amazing features, aspect ratios, safe margins, center crosshatch, anamorphic, fast color, zebras, waveforms, vector scopes, histograms, focus assists, pitking, looks, multiscopes and audiometer. On the settings menu system you are also able to check the backlight, volume, rotate the screen, probe user, loot options, range, metric, select, one of the dedicated brain style loots of all major camera brands, load your personal loot, language and if. You are also able to make a group of shortcuts depending on your shooting style and recall them with the folder option. And this is amazing if we have different users using the same exact screen, they can recall their personal settings and start shooting or continue shooting where you left without the hustle and actually fine tune to their actual settings that they like to use when recording with their camera. The first screen that has this feature out of the all screen that I tested so far. Great work OC. On the L arm you will also find an additional cold shoe mount for additional accessories like microphone, light or whatever you want to mount it. This screen will be perfect for a smaller gimbal setup or small run and gun camera setup. It's lightweight and simple to use. I would have loved that this has actually an USB-C power feature, so you can power this monitor via USB-C through a power bank or any other type of connection that uses USB-C. Well, maybe in the future date we will find also a USB-C power option. With the technology used and being the touchscreen, this screen has a slightly bigger bezels on the side. Rather than that, I find it pretty awesome with all the professional settings included in the menu settings. And yes, I can fully recommend this monitor. 
If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, I will be happy to answer to all of them. And until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bell icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.